Almost half of Americans won't use their paid time off, but could a summer vacation be good for your career? Our next guest has a new op-ed in the Wall Street Journal. Actually, it was a cover story. Uh, the secret to getting ahead at work is how much vacation you use. This was a cover story in the weekend section. Joining us right now to talk about why she thinks taking time off actually boosts your career productivity is Joanne Lippmann. She is a lecturer at Yale University and author of the book, Next, The Power of Reinvention in Life and Work. Of course, she's a CNBC contributor, too. Joanne, I love this story because you're not just talking about how it's good for your health. You're talking about how this actually could help your career if you take your days off. Explain. Sure, sure. Good morning, Becky. So what I found is in, when I was researching my book Next, which I was looking at creativity and innovation and how do you rethink and reimagine, uh, what I found is that taking time off and specifically taking vacation time, we already know it's good for your mental health, your physical health. It reduces stress, anxiety, depression, heart disease. There's been studies on all, all of this, but what I found is it's also good for your career. And there have been a number of studies on this um, that have come up with the same, the same conclusion. Uh, one was done, it was uh, reported in Harvard Business Review, that people who take vacation are promoted at almost twice the rate of people who leave their days on the table. Uh, EY studied its own people and found that those who take 10 hours of vacation in a month, it's correlated with a 8% uh, boost at the end of the next year in their performance ratings. And BCG found something similar. BCG was interesting because they forced their reluctant consultants to take off either a full day a week, uh, an evening a week, like they had to totally disconnect. And the consultants were really anxious about this, like all of us, right? They felt like, oh my God, the world will fall apart. If I'm not working, I'm gonna fall behind. My work will suffer, the client's work, the product will suffer. And they found the reverse. They found that both the consultants were happier, but also the work product improved. So all of the research points to the fact that uh, we should stop like leaving that paid time off on the table and actually take it. I mean, I love this just because it takes the guilt out of the idea of taking your vacation days. I, I think it's also often a, a badge of honor to say, oh, I didn't take all my vacation days. I'm working harder and harder. And people do think that that will get them ahead. It's kind of crazy to think it doesn't. You're right, right. And it, it also, you know, we are in this culture, it fetishizes busyness, right? It's a status symbol to say, oh, I cannot possibly take off. Um, but the fact is that if you look in, and I talk about this in Next, I look at some of these sort of great innovations and breakthroughs that have come from people who are not working, you know, everything from penicillin, the guy was on vacation when, <laughs> when he discovered penicillin, to post-it notes. Um, even Einstein has said that, you know, Einstein famously said he thought of E equals MC squared when he was bike riding. So, you know, it, it definitely leads to uh, innovation and creativity. We do need to change the culture, though, Becky, to, to first of all, for all of us to feel less guilty, but also for our companies to really we have to start encouraging people to actually take their vacation time, which some companies now are trying to do. Yeah, I mean, I think back to Japan, they, they couldn't get people to take vacations or take time off, so they had to institute more and more national holidays. Well, Goldman Sachs is doing that this, this, uh, this year. They just started requiring people to take off three weeks, which is amazing that you have to force people to take three weeks off. Um, but other companies are trying some other um, methods to do this. There are some that are giving a, what they call a vacation stipend of a thousand or two thousand dollars. Airbnb does this. Evernote um, does this. Uh, a company called Bamboo HR. They all give you a stipend to go on vacation. And then, you know, the one other thing that some companies are doing, not unlike what you just talked about with Japan, is some companies now are having kind of full company shutdowns, right? So they, they, they started with COVID with what were called recharge days where the whole company shuts down to do away with the guilt. Um, and now some companies do this for even a week at a time. Actually, last week I was trying to reach some people at EY and uh, they, um, they were closed for the whole week. It was a good idea for 4th of July. I think more companies yes. should do it. Love the article. Uh